It may have the toughest speeding and drunk driving laws you'll find anywhere in Canada, but a senior police officer says budget cuts in the province are making it tough to enforce them. Staff Sergeant Frank Wright heads up the team of police officers who are responsible for road safety across the capital region, and he says the money he gets to operate his unit has been cut in half. That means fewer traffic stops and more dangerous drivers on the road. CTV Stephen Andrews investigating the cuts. He joins us now live with more on the story. Stephen. Hudson, ICBC spent $34 million on traffic safety programs last year, and some of that money goes to road safety teams. And when the government introduced Ursu teams, it said it would make BC roads safer. That has the officers working on those teams asking why are their budgets being cut. Police pulling drunk and speeding drivers off the road has become a common sight on the Malahat, but no more. The budget for Ursu, or the Capital Region's Integrated Road Safety Unit, has been slashed, cut in half. And the officer who runs the police team says that means 25% less tickets and more drunk and speeding drivers evading capture. And right now, with the environment changing the way it is, it's impairing our ability to keep the road safe. The road safety unit targets areas with high crash rates. And crashes in the capital region are down by two-thirds. Frank Wright says that is due in part to enforcement, such as last year's month-long campaign on the Malahat. I don't have the resources to do a, a project of that size, scope and duration in the capital regional district again. The majority of traffic stops occur when officers are working overtime, when they don't have to testify in court or complete paperwork. And as this tow yard shows, Ursu has been pulling a lot of drivers off the road. And when they get here, it's going to cost them a lot of money. For a seven-day suspension for speeding, up to $300 in storage charges. And if they've been caught drinking and driving, the bill could climb as high as $900. But first, the traffic team has to catch the drivers. And even that can be a problem. Ursu patrol cars are getting old and the head of the team says they need to be replaced. They have to idle uh, doing enforcement because if I shut them off, they won't start again. The electronics packages and everything it requires to support these uh, systems, for everything from the MDT to the police radio uh, and everything else in there, um, it drains the battery too quickly. At night, I have to plug them in uh, to, a, to a trickle charger or they won't start the next day. The government is proud of its tough driving laws, claiming they save lives. The greatest risk to our children and the people that we love is not terrorism, it's not a plane crash, it's a drunk driver. But with less money, patrol cars that barely run, and fewer traffic stops, the men and women responsible for road safety in the CRD believe that threat is about to grow. Now we asked the government for a comment on our story. It says that overall funding has not been cut by 50% and that the RCMP manages Ursu budgets for setting appropriate funding levels for each unit. The government believes the RCMP reduced overtime, Hudson, to bring them in line with other provincial units. But as the head of the Capital Regions unit says, that is when the team write the majority of their tickets. Did the province say anything about police cars that won't start when you turn them off? They have no comment about that. Uh, we did contact them earlier today. It took them over four and a half hours to come back with that comment. We said it didn't really answer all the questions in a report. We will continue asking those questions until we get an answer. Hudson. We will ask again indeed. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome. Stephen Andrew reporting.